everybody it's time for some more swatching and this time I have gotten my hands on the dot chart for all of Schmincke's 40 super granulating watercolors. So Schmincke's super granulation line consists of nine sets of five colors one which I've already reviewed in full and that was the Haze set. It's a limited edition set. I will leave a link so that you can go check that out if you'd like. Uh, and these are the other eight sets. So I managed to grab myself this dot chart from Jackson's Art Supplies in the UK. I wasn't able to find it anywhere in Canada, but I am a fan of Jackson's and their shipping is very reasonable to Canada. So that is where I ordered it from. I will leave a link below in the description if you would like to go check it out yourself or any of the paints that we're checking out. It is an affiliate link, which just means that if you do uh, use that link and you actually make a purchase from their shop, I will get a tiny little commission in the form of credit on their shop which means I get to buy more art supplies. Also, if you are a first time Jackson's purchaser um, and you use my link for your first order, you will get 10% off your entire order. So that is also cool. Unfortunately, the amount of paint given to me in these little dots is quite small so I'm not going to be able to do as much experimenting as I was able to um, during my haze swatching but it should still give us an idea of what the colors are like. I also decided to break this up into eight shorter videos just so that it doesn't get too long and monotonous. So today we are going to just be taking a look at the first set on this chart, which is the Volcano set. So the first one that I swatched, obviously in order, was Volcano Yellow. And because I am such a professional, I totally forgot to record the actual swatching. But here's a look at it. And this is PY159. And this is a new pigment to Schmink as far as I can tell. And also, as far as I could find out, the only other company that uses pigment yellow 159 is Windsor Newton. And they use it in a color called Lemon Yellow Deep. So I found this pigment to be very pale. It's very uh, soft yellow, very pale. Uh, part of the paleness might be because I just couldn't get a really good saturated sample from the tiny little dot of paint that I had but even the Winsor Newton one I found it to be um, pretty pale and it does of course have that granulation which is you know what you would hope for in a super granulating watercolor. <laughs> All of that being said, this Pigment 159 does show up in quite a few of their other super granulating colors. So if you're looking for specific pigments to pick up to mix your own, this might be a good option. So I'm just going to temporarily skip over Volcano Orange and go into Volcano Red as it is their only other single pigment super granulating watercolor. And one of the problems I noticed is I had a really hard time trying to get a good saturated color. I don't know if it's because these were just tiny little dots and I had very little pigment to work with or if it's because they were dry paint that I was reactivating with water. My guess is if I had the tubes like before then I probably would have been able to get much more saturated results. I did try my best to play around with these paints with you know varying degrees of pigment and water to really showcase the granulation but again that was also very difficult with such a tiny little sample. 
So again, being that this is another single pigment granulating color, if you're looking to buy individual pigments to mix your own colors, this might be another option. Alternatively, if you happen to have uh, a cadmium red, a pigment red 108, you could try that with a little bit of granulation medium and see what you come up with. So looking at it really close, we can see that it is a relatively dark, very granulating red color. So PR108 is actually cadmium red, and um, Schmink has three versions. They have their light, their just red, and their deep. They are usually relatively opaque and can be mildly granular. I think the granulation effects can be increased by using a granulation medium, which I am starting to suspect has been used in these super granulating watercolors. But um, if I was to make a guess, I would think that they either used um, medium or deep to make this particular uh, volcano red. So moving on to the orange or back, I suppose, um, as expected, it is a mix of the yellow and the red. Again, trying my hardest to get a nice saturated sample and just was not able to achieve such a sample with these tiny little dots. If you are watching this and you have these in the pans, I would love to know if it's the same issue when they're dried in a pan or is this just simply because I have such a tiny little sample to work with or is it better off to get tubes for those that are interested? I did again try to play around as much as I could with uh, what little pigment I had and water to get some good ideas of uh, the granulation and if there was any uh, color separation. There wasn't really a lot of color separation. Uh, the yellow and the red seemed to blend really well to make an orange, uh, but it is of course very granular and uh, it is Again, not a super vivid, bright orange. It's more of a natural, dull orange. Uh, I was really hoping that these colors being, you know, associated with a volcano would be really intense and vibrant, and they just, they just weren't, unfortunately. Okay, moving on to Volcano Violet. Again, not a super vibrant color, but I actually enjoyed it and found it um, quite pretty, actually. I wasn't really expecting to like this color, but I kind of do. Again, like the others in this set, it's not particularly vibrant or bright, but it is a nice, uh, somewhat muted, moody sort of reddish violet. It's quite nice. This one did seem to feel like it rewet just a little bit easier. So maybe that was the uh, PV62 that we see I've written down there. So the two colors in this are the PV62, which is cobalt violet hue. It's cobalt, not cobalt. Excuse my typo. Uh, and this is not actually a true cobalt color. It's a synthetic color. It's a, a very pretty, uh, neutral, not too red, not too cool violet color um, and quite naturally granulating. And of course that is mixed with the um, pigment red 108, the volcano red or the cadmium red.
with this one you can see a little bit of the color separation between the uh, the violet color and the red color which honestly are not two colors I don't I don't think I would actually honestly have thought to mix those two together but the results are quite interesting nonetheless Okay, moving on to Volcano Brown. Um, these next few swatches, uh, just ignore the fact that I have put my black um, opacity testing line on the wrong square. Uh, this is only going to bother me for like the rest of my life, but what do you do? Um, so yeah, anyways, on to Volcano Brown. Last, but certainly not least, this actually ended up being my favorite color out of this particular set. Um, it felt just a little bit more pigmented. I'm always drawn to more vibrant and pigmented colors myself. Um, I'm of the opinion that if I want a pale one, I'll just add more water to it. colors in this paint already had started to separate even before I finished doing my little swatch test here which was um, kind of cool. The combination of these two colors, uh, these two pigments in this color are actually the one that makes me think of volcanoes more <laughs> than any of the other colors in this particular uh, volcano set. Uh, I guess it's probably the, the ashy black that's in there. So the two colors in this are um, PBK11, which is Mars Black. It's a very common granulating black that a lot of people have in their palettes already and of course that is mixed with the PR 108 um, the cadmium red or the volcano red that we've already taken a look at this one of the set definitely has the most color separation uh, which I happen to really enjoy and think is very cool Again, it's got uh, some good granulation. I feel like if I had had a larger pigment sample to play with, then I may have been able to get some more dramatic um, granulation effects out of it. And there we have it. Those are the five colors uh, in Schmincke's Super Granulating Volcano Set. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more, uh, please consider subscribing. I will be doing the rest of the sets on this dot chart. I believe the next one I do will be the Galaxy set. I was really intrigued by the look of the Galaxy set when I first saw it, so I'm interested to see how that one turns out. And if you like these swatching videos and have not yet seen my Haze set, uh, consider going to check that one out. I had full tubes of those and was able to really do a lot of experimenting. So until the next one, bye-bye.